All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson seven. And in this lesson, students are going to be solving word problems involving coins. Now, not only are students gonna to have to count the coins, but they're also gonna be using prior knowledge how to add and subtract using two digits within 100. Uh, students are also going to be using tape diagrams to represent their thinking. Uh, so let's get started on this. All right, so here we have Owen. And he has four dimes, three nickels, and 16 pennies. How much money does he have? So the, in the previous lesson video, uh, we were told to add these coins from the greatest to the least. And we're going to kind of add to that strategy. Uh, so what we're going to do is let's just label these. And we're not going to use actual coins. This time we're going to use representations. So here's 10 cents. And let's do another one and another one and another one. So there's my dimes. And now I want my nickels, so I'm just using representations. We're no longer being so literal with actual coins. And then 16 pennies. Now I'm going to organize this in 10 frame form. So there's 10 pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are all of our pennies. And so if we're supposed to add, uh, how much, figure out how much money Owen has all together, right? Now there's a variety of ways we could do this. And in fact, it might be valuable to let your students talk about all the different ways that they could count up this money to figure out the answer. But a new strategy might be looking for tens. So we know that we've got tens right here, so that's 40, but we've got another 10 right here, and then we've got another 10 right there, and so now we can count by tens, and we could say, well, there's 10, 20, 30, 40, and then these two together make 50, and then here's 10, that makes 60, plus here's 5, that makes 65, and then we can count the ones, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So we get 71 cents, all right? So that's one way. Of course, there's other ways that students could do it. They, they might have said, well, yes, here's, here's our four tens. Here's another 10, but we, and then here's 10. But what we could have done is we could have taken these five and put together with these five to make another 10. So that would make our counting go a little bit quicker. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. These put together to make 60. These put together to make 70, plus one little penny left over. So you get 71. So there's a variety of ways that students might use to count all of these coins. So here we find that Eli found one quarter, a dime, and two pennies in his desk. And he found 16 pennies and two dimes in his backpack. How much money does he have in all? So what we're going to do is first we're going to represent uh, what he found in his desk. So in his desk, he found a quarter. He found a dime. And he found two pennies. So let's do it down here. Two pennies. Now in his backpack, so I'm going to just do B, P in his backpack, he found 16 pennies. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So all of these are pennies that he found in his backpack. And so let's get that going here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so there's our 16 pennies and he found two dimes in his backpack, all right? So first thing we have to do is how much, figure out how much, to figure out how much money he has in all we got, first thing we got to do is add. So let's figure out how much money does he have in his desk? Well, he has 25, 35, 36, 37. So he has 37 cents in his desk, 
And in his backpack, how much money does he have? Well, we have a group of 10 pennies here, plus a couple of 10 pennies down here. So that's going to be 10, 20, 30, plus these extra six. So he has 36 cents in his backpack. Now, to represent this using a tape diagram, we might show it like this. Um, one way we might do it is say, okay, let's say right here is 37 cents. Here is 36 cents. And we want to know the total. So we might show it that way. Another way that we, students might show this instead is they might um, kind of be a little bit more literal and put the 37 cents inside and then the 36 cents inside and then put your question mark there. That's also perfectly fine. Now the idea is, what would we do to get the answer? Oh man, there's a lot of ways we could do it. We could do it mentally, or we could use we could stack them up vertically. Uh, one idea might be to say, well, let's decompose this to be 3 and 33, and then we can add these together to give us 40, plus an extra 33, and that's 73. And we, this kind of what we would do probably mentally, or students can literally write it out like that. Or, of course, they can stack it up. 37 plus 36, and then they could add. Oh, well, 7 ones plus 6 ones. Well, that gives us 13 ones. So that's 3 in the ones column, plus an extra 10 in the tens column. And then three tens plus three tens plus one more ten gives us seven tens. So we have 73 cents. Either way, we're going to end up with the answer of 73 cents total. Ethan had 67 cents. He gave one quarter and six pennies. Oops, he's, he gave one quarter and six pennies to his sister. How much money does Ethan have left? Well, so the first thing we have to do is figure out, well, how much money is one quarter plus six pennies? And we're going to get 31 cents somehow, right? Either counting uh, or we can group five of these pennies together to make 30. But anyway, we're going to get 31 cents. So it says Ethan had 67 cents. He gave 31 cents to his sister. How much money does he have left? So one way we would record that with a tape diagram is it would look like this. Well, he had 67 cents. He gave 31 cents to his sister. How much is left? So that's the way, one way a tape diagram might look. Um, there's probably other ways that you could have drawn your tape diagram. In fact, let your students talk about it. And as a class, talk about how you can, uh, the variety of ways that you could represent it using a tape diagram. Going over here and subtracting, using the stacked method, 7 ones minus 1 1 is 6 ones left over. And then three, uh, 6 tens, take away 3 tens, gives us three tens, and so our answer is 36 cents is how much money Ethan has left over. And then the last one we're going to do for this video, Tyson had one quarter, four dimes, four nickels, and five pennies. He gave 57 cents to his cousin. How much money does Tyson have left? So the first thing we've got to do is figure out how much money does Tyson have. All right, so, or how much did he have? He had one quarter. He had four dimes. He had four nickels. And then he had five pennies. And we need to figure out, well, first off, how much money does he have? So, uh, let's see, what we can count in order, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So one way to figure it out is count. 
in order the way we were taught in a previous video. Another way is we could be kind of putting things together. Well, that's 25 cents. This is 40 cents. This is 20 cents. And this is five more cents. So we could say, hey, wait a second. 25 plus 25, that's 50, because we know about our money. So that's 50, and then 50 plus 40 is 90. That's another way we could have done it. All right, so anyway, we know that Tyson had 90 cents. So we're going to model that. He had 90 cents, but he gave away 57 cents. So how much money does Tyson have left? So that's kind of the classic right there of how that tape diagram would look like. And really, we should kind of put the sense symbols in here. All right. And now it's time to subtract. And so one way we could subtract is we could do it by adding up. We could say, well, we could do it the arrow way. And we could say, well, 57 plus 3 gives us 60 plus 30 gives us 90. So that means... Tyson has 33 cents left over. That's one way we could use the arrow method. Another idea could be to say, well, we had 90 minus 57. We could stack it up. But right now, we don't have any ones to take away seven ones. So let's do some regrouping. And we can take one of those tens and turn it into 10 ones. And now we could do 10 ones, take away seven ones, gives us three ones. And eight tens, take away five tens, leaves us with three tens. So our result is 33 cents. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 7, Lesson 7, Solving Word Problems Using Coins and Tape Diagrams.